Welcome everyone to the Trade Shark Weekly Blog. Each week we will take a look at some technical indicators available exclusively within Trade Shark. In this week's edition, we will take a look at the Ralph Vince suite of technical indicators. For those unfamiliar with Ralph Vince, he has been a leading authority on systematic trading and money management principles for several decades. He has also authored numerous books, been an advisor to institutional clients, as well as developed a number of technical tools that have stood up to the test of time, each of which is available exclusively to TradeShark customers. The first indicator from Ralph Vince is called Forward Feedback. This is a trend-following indicator which greatly reduces the lag time when compared to similar tools. Consequently, it reduces the amount of whipsaws a trader may experience when attempting to follow a trend. As you can see in this chart for CarMax, traders simply need to identify where the market closes in relation to the indicator's value. Here we can see that a close above the indicator value acts as a signal to begin taking trades to the upside, whereas closes below the indicator value signal price weakness. Additionally, the forward feedback indicator plots two days in advance. This allows traders to easily identify where prices need to close to warrant a shift in the overall trend direction. It is often helpful to combine a trend following indicator like forward feedback with other indicators that can help filter out marginal trading opportunities. Additionally, traders need to be aware of what trading style best matches the particular market. Red compression Another indicator developed by Ralph Vince is ideal for this as it informs traders of when to begin trading breakouts versus when to trade counter trend positions. I've gone ahead and added the red compression indicator located at the bottom of this chart along with the forward feedback indicator. This way we can get a better idea of how these indicators can work together. In general, a low value reading from red compression indicates that traders should look to trade breakout style systems. Higher values that begin to roll over like we see here and also here on the chart signal that the trend is likely over and that counter trend strategies may work best. Once a low value is once again achieved, traders can then once again look to trade a breakout style system. For example, in this chart for Anadarko Petroleum Company, we can see that over the past six months, how the red compression indicator has performed. Low values in the indicator, like we see here in March, informs traders to prepare for a breakout style trade. When combined with the forward feedback indicator, traders have a clear signal of when to enter the market. But notice how the trade progresses, how red compression begins to elevate turn over and start moving lower. This informs traders that the trend is likely over and counter trend positions would be more appropriate. It's important to remember that not all markets trade in the same way, so it's important to recognize how these indicators have performed on any given market in the past to help determine if a reading is relatively high or in a relatively low position. Lastly, it's very important for all traders to be aware of market cycles that can affect their trading. Unfortunately, many traders lack the means of incorporating this valuable information into their trading approach. Ralph Vince's cycle determination is a very robust indicator that gives accurate short-term projections based on the current cyclical content of the market data that you are working with. It calculates the composite of all the cycles at work designated by this blue line, as well as the dominant cycle, designated by the red line, and makes a projection forward in time based on these cycles. The strongest signals occur when both the dominant and composite cycles are moving together in tandem. On this chart for the dollar index, we can see that both the composite and the dominant cycle were moving aggressively lower, however have bottomed and started to move higher around May 14th and 15th. 
This information allows traders to be prepared for a low to be reached around those days. On this next chart for the S&P 500, we can see the dominant cycle reaching a low a few days into the future, around May 8th. However, after that date, both the composite and dominant cycles start to turn higher. This allows traders to be prepared and manage their positions appropriately as these cycles play out. Traders who combine these tools have a huge leg up in the market as they are able to identify trend changes early, determine which trading style is best for a given market, and also determine how cycles can affect the positions that they need to manage. I hope you have enjoyed this brief introduction to the Ralph Vince Indicator Suite, found exclusively within TradeShark. For more information about the Ralph Vince Indicators or TradeShark's proprietary trend forecasting technology, be sure to visit www.tradeshark.com.